For this topic, we will analyze a simple, comparative, multi-step income statement for a three-year period. The company, super big tech company, is fictitious, but you can imagine that it competes in the same industry as Microsoft. Please stop and take a moment to perform a horizontal scan of each of SBTC's accounts on its comparative income statement to see what positive, negative, and unusual patterns you can recognize. Congratulations! You just performed a simple horizontal analysis of SBTC's comparative income statement. Good job! What did you learn from it? Maybe you learned that from 20x1 to 20x2, SBTC's revenues and gross profits grew, but its operating income declined. This is unusual. Then, from 20x2 to 20x3, its revenues and gross profits grew again, but this time, its operating income also grew. What caused the operating income decline in 20x2 and the increase in 20x3? If you said that the major cause of the decline was a 1,923,000,000 goodwill impairment in 20x2, you would be right. Had such goodwill impairment not been recognized in 20x2, its operating income would have actually increased from 8,435,000,000 in 20x1 up to a revised 8,682,000,000 in 20x2 rather than decreased. You probably also noticed that SBTC recognized no goodwill impairments in 20x1 or in 20x3. Why did it only record a goodwill impairment in 20x2? 